Welcome back everyone and nandito pa rin tayo sa ating Sublime Text 3 para pag-usapan pa rin yung ating ginawa last time. Pero ngayon ang gagawin natin is we're going to run yung ginawa nating kauna-unahang Python script or code doon naman sa command prompt. Kasi last time ang ginawa natin, uh, ni-run natin yung ating uh, code or script dito mismo sa loob ng Sublime Text 3. But what if I want to do this on the command prompt? Kasi meron talaga mga scripts na minsan outside of your IDE. Kailangan mo siyang marun. Such as the command prompt. Okay? So the question is, how do we do that on the command prompt? So ganito ang gagawin natin. First, we're going to open your command prompt. Okay? And dito sa akin kasi meron akong command prompt na shortcut doon sa aking uh, taskbar. So, pwede ko na itong ma-access. Pero kung wala naman, ang pwede mong gawin is you go to your search box kay Windows and then you type in the command prompt or command prompt. No? And first three letters pa lang yung tinatype ko at uh, lumabas na kaagad yung command prompt. So, you can uh, click on this. Okay? Yan. And then, ito na yung ating command prompt ngayon. Ha? Ngayon, palilitan ko lang to ng konti para kumasya doon sa screen. And we can now uh, start running the uh, Python program that we have made on the previous lecture. Okay? Ngayon, ganito ang gagawin natin. Ang tanong, saan ba natin sinave yung hello underscore world dot py? Saan ba natin siya sinave? Okay. Sinib natin siya doon sa Python underscore training na folder which is located on the desktop. Tama? Okay. Ngayon, paano tayo makakarating doon sa desktop? Now, in a command prompt such as this, para makarating tayo sa desktop, ang gagawin natin, take note na dito ako sa aking home folder which is uh, named after myself, of course, Melvin. But I want to go to the desktop. How do I do that? Ganito ang gagawin ko. Ang gagamitin natin na command kay Windows is CD. Okay? That is CD. Ibig sabihin ng CD is change directory. Okay? And then we type in here desktop. And then we press enter. And notice, yung ating prompt meron ng desktop na kasama. Correct? Okay. Now, I want to see... Ano yung mga files and folders na nasa desktop? So, ano ang gagamitin kong command dito? The command will be dir or directories. Okay? So, pag-enter natin na yan, napakaraming directory, uh, files and directories na nandito. But what I am uh, concerned about or interested in is this uh, folder. Ang tawag natin ay python underscore training. Actually, ito yung ginawa natin uh, ng mga huli pang videos natin. Tama? Okay, so Python underscore training. Diyan tayo ngayon pupunta. How do we do that? Yan, ito yan. Nag-press lang ulit ako ng enter. Okay, and then I will CD again. But this time, doon sa ating Python underscore training. Okay, so enter ko ulit to. And now, nandito na ako sa folder na to. Now, ano ngayon ang susunod kong gagawin? Titingnan ko yung laman ng folder na to, Tama? Okay. So, anong laman niya? Paano natin may kita? Again, we use the dir. So, enter natin yan. And ito yung laman ng ating python underscore training na folder. Okay? Ngayon, anong susunod natin gagawin? We are going to run this script. Okay? So, paano ang pag-run ng script? ni Python dito sa uh, command prompt natin. Ganito yan. So, ang, ang gagawin natin is uh, we're going to uh, place first the command Python. Okay? And then space and then followed by the script name. So, that will be hello underscore world dot py. Don't forget the dot py. Alright? So, pag-enter natin ngayon and lumalabas din itong output natin the same doon sa ginawa natin nung nakaraan, pareho lang sila na magiging output. Okay? So, that's how we create or how we run 
the scripts of Python dito sa ating command prompt. And I, as I mentioned, we will be doing this uh, several times. No? When the need arises, na kailangan natin mag-run sa command prompt, alam na natin kung paano ang gagawin. Okay? So that's it for this lecture. And I will see you on the next.